Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dungeon Dive. Daniel here. I hope you're doing well, and if you're not, I hope you are soon. Okay, today on the Dungeon Dive, we will be taking a quick look at 12 Years, a solo RPG zine created by Max Moon and released under Max Moon Games. I've had this game for quite a while, but I decided to take a look at it today at the tail end of January 2023 because a new Kickstarter for the expansion is right around the corner, so I figured some information on the game might be useful to some players. So in this video, we will go over a brief description of the game in general, and then I will talk about five points specifically. So with a game of 12 years, you will be generating a party of four adventurers, and you will be going on a hex crawl and a dungeon crawl, in order to try to find a magical item to kill a, an evil Lich King. You have 12 years to do so. If you fail to destroy the Lich King within that time period, you lose the campaign. At the beginning of the game, you will roll for your random party. You will roll a d4 four times, and you might have a hermit, a rogue, a fey folk, or a giant. Each one of those archetypes has a certain number of hit points. They have a certain power and a certain weakness. Once you determine the four archetypes in your starting party, you will name them, and then you will roll for their starting gold, you will roll for their starting weapon, and each new member of your party starts with a piece of loot. That loot can be anything from a mirror, a mushroom, some coins, boots, a wooden shield, armor, books, rings, etc. And sometimes that loot will be mundane. But once you roll on the loot quality table, you might find that those magical those items become magical items. So you might start with some more powerful items. You might actually start with the item that you need to beat the game. However, if you do, something bad happens. And speaking of something bad happening to you because of your loot, you might actually roll up trapped loot at the beginning at the beginning of the game, which could end up killing one of your starting characters. So you could end up starting the game with fewer than four heroes in your party. That's pretty interesting. Once you have uh, rolled up your characters, you get to the rules about combat. Combat is very simple in the game. There is a D6 chart. You simply roll one D6 and that determines if the enemy hits the party, if both hit each other, or if the party hits the enemy and the kind of damage that they do to their, to their opponents. Combat is very simple and I do enjoy that. Then we get into the main part of the game. The main part of the game is actually divided into two parts and that is hex crawling and dungeon crawling. So as you start at the bottom and you want to make your way to the castle where the Lich King is, but in order to get there in order, and in order to destroy the Lich King, you need to find a magical crown. And you do that by exploring the region, looking for dungeons, and looking for ways to find that magical crown. As you move into a hex, you will roll a d6, and you might find things like a large lake, a quiet forest, a clearing, a marsh, uh, hills, or a regular forest. And as you move into each one of those different uh, terrains, you will roll up on a different encounter chart. So you might find nothing, you might find some creatures, you might find a stone portal or a fairy circle, or a dungeon entrance. And if you find some monsters, you might have to uh, fight some wandering monsters such as poisonous toads, gargantuan beetles, hill giants, or fire folk. And you might also meet some friendly NPCs such as a wandering merchant or a dying adventurer or Gerhardus Zaber, a scaly skinned dwarf emerges from the shadows stroking his copper beard. So all kinds of different things that you can meet out in the wilderness. Once you discover a dungeon, you can go into that dungeon and you will roll up on the various kinds of dungeon entrances. And once you enter the dungeon, you are in the delving part of the game, at which point you will take your uh, graph paper and then you will roll up your various room sizes, the room type, how many doors that room has, what kind of encounters you have in the room, what kind of monsters you might meet and what kind of loot you might be able to discover. And the rulebook then goes into some details on the various kinds of traps, uh, level advancement. Your heroes don't level up, but your party levels up as a whole. Your party kind of works as a unit, as a single unit in this game. And then we also get a little bit of uh, instruction on how to handle the passage of time. As your characters die years past, you can also get lost in the magical fey world in which years passed 
And again, like the name suggests, you have 12 years to complete the game. And to complete the game, you need to make your way to the sunken castle of the south with a magical crown. You have to put the crown on the Lich King's head and then defeat the, the Lich King in combat. So here are five things about 12 years. One, it offers a condensed hex crawl and dungeon crawl experience within a small space with minimal effort. And that is something that I do greatly enjoy. This game is very simple to get going. It's simple to learn. It is uh, simple to play. It takes up a small amount of space and you get quite a bit of game out of this kind of small amount of components. Two, the world feels unique and interesting without a lot of world building. There are snippets of lore. There are snippets of story. You can learn a little bit about the world as you read the book. And the world is interesting enough to where I get the sense that I am exploring an interesting place. I am exploring a place that I want to have adventure in, but without being inundated with a lot of text or a lot of detail. Three, the presentation is very nice. This is a very well put together little zine. I love the cover. I love the glossy ink. I'm pretty sure the physical version is out of print right now, but I would bet dollars to donuts that the physical edition will be back in print when the expansion hits Kickstarter in a couple days or a couple weeks. There is some nice art throughout. The book is laid out nicely. The text is easy to read. I will say one complaint I have is on the quick play sheet, which has all of the rules you need to play. The text is a very, very tiny. So I actually printed out from the PDF, I printed out a, a larger one. So it just makes it easier to read. But this quick play guide is very nice. The documentation in this game is pretty well done. However, I do have a little bit of a problem with it. And that is point number four is the wind condition could be better defined. There's a little bit of a mystery component to where you can discover a way to win. There's a, but there are also some confusion conflicting information. I'm not quite exactly sure how to win 12 years. I know you need to get a crown and place the crown on the Lich on the Lich King's head. But in one area at the beginning of the game, it says that you just need a crown at the end of the game in the uh, in the section in the section that details his stronghold. It says it needs to be a magic crown. And also in the in the introduction, it says that there are actually two ways to win the game, but only one of them is detailed in the book and the other one is left for you to discover. But one of the magic items that you can discover is another way to win the game. So I know of two ways to win. So I'm wondering if there's a third secret way. I just don't know. I wish that the objective was a little more clearly defined. And point number five is I do wish there was a little more variety. I can see the game, if you are rolling the same numbers a lot, you are going to end up with the same encounters over and over again. In this last campaign that I have played, I actually discovered about seven lost nobles while I was exploring the hex. This land was just lousy with lost nobles. They were everywhere. It was pretty funny, actually. I was wondering what the heck was going on with this kingdom. Was there some kind of magical spell placed on it by the Lich King? That was causing all of the, the noble uh, men and women of the land to lose their minds and start wandering aimlessly. And that appears to be what has happened in this game. But know that going in. This is a game that relies a lot on dice rolls to determine what happens. And we all know that sometimes those types of games create really interesting narrative points for us to connect everything kind of lines up in this serendipitous way that creates an interesting story and interesting things to engage with. And sometimes those roles end up being a really poor, they, they do a poor job of determining narrative of, of creating an interesting environment. So with these kinds of games, you could have really hot games and really cold games. And I'm sure most people know that going in, but if this looks interesting to you and you don't like being such a slave to the dice, this may be something that you want to avoid. But I am really looking forward to the upcoming expansion. I'm hoping that it adds more variety to the base game and just adds a little bit of layer on top of this to, to just make it feel like maybe there's just a few more things that could possibly happen from one game to the next. 
and I'm hoping that it has a more defined win condition. So all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at 12 years. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.